When you come on down to the sports show, you never know who you're going to run into. So I was walking through the aisles here, and I ran into Seth. How you doing? Vance, I'm sorry. How you doing, Vance? Good. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, Vance has a pretty interesting story. So he's all smiles. He's like, hey, man, did you watch me Friday night on TV? Because tell everybody why you were on TV Friday night. Uh, made it on a sh show called Shark Tank. Little tiny show called Shark Tank. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, so tell us about what your product is. So it's a simple ring that you can wear on a finger or you can put it right on a rod and it cuts fishing line. So I used to bite line with my teeth, chip my teeth twice. Yeah, you, can, you should see his teeth. I don't know if we want a close up. <laughs> we want viewers to watch this show, okay. Yep, so I uh, just came up with the idea and uh, ended up getting on Shark Tank and uh, people loved it and they're going crazy for it. No kidding? Yes, and so sir. you're gonna tell us uh, what, what your deal was? Yeah. So we got a deal, $120,000 for 33% equity. I got beat up a little bit, but, uh, you know, teaming up with a shark is worth, worth its weight in gold. Which shark? Damon John. He's a big fisherman. A lot of people don't realize he's a big fisherman. Wow, that's really cool. Let me see the ring again. All right, check it out. So you're, this is this is, uh, this is like a, a top-selling ring, huh? Yeah. And you can, you can cut line. Yep, this is a 100-pound test braided fishing line. Cuts it like a hot knife through butter. And hot knife that? through butter. Yes, sir. And we just got into Walmart, too. Wow. Well, good for you, man. <laughs> All right, come on down. Check out his booth for talking a little bit about his experience being on Shark Tank. And I'm over here with Seth Fighter. Good morning, Seth. What's happening? All right. So Seth is one of the top bass fishermen in the state of Minnesota, correct? That is correct. All right. So I thought I'd, you know, like, you know, lasso you here and say, all right, people are getting ready for fishing season. Give us your top three pointers, how they can be in your league there, Seth. Okay, um, one, time on the water is the biggest thing. Spend as much time fishing as you can. And then uh, with all the stuff on the internet, you can do a lot of research, YouTube, stuff like that. Learn um, a lot of stuff about fishing. And the final third tip, if you really want to be a good fisherman, is you have to grow a mullet. You've got to grow a mullet. Definitely. All right, let's see. Let's see yeah. here. That is and a it, full on it, mullet there, If you pal. want to throw some stripes in the sides, you'll get a couple extra bites. No oh, doubt man. about it. Yeah, you've got some stripes. You're yeah. right. Oh, all yeah. right. So that, that, that's actually tip number one. Well, yeah, but I was saving it for the end. You All know right, I mean? okay, uh, yeah, because it's the big thing. Up to it for but sure. Seth, you're saying I don't have a chance then, right? It takes commitment, you know. You're just going to need a you know, <sighs> six months or something, and you could have a All right. nice mullet. Well, Seth, next year I'll come back down to the show, full mullet, and we'll see if that has helped my fishing, okay? I guarantee it will. All right, Seth, you're a good guy, man. All right, come on down, check out the sports show. Remember, today is the very last day. Doors opened at 10 this morning. Back to you guys.